All right, well, I'll get started now. Can you all hear me well enough? I want to uh, thank you for uh, attending A4M, uh, forward thinking uh, organizations looking at ways to improve our uh, patients' uh, longevity. This topic that I'm going to be discussing today, metabolic and cellular detoxification, preventative and therapeutic application for anti-aging medicine. What I'm trying to um, do in really 30 minutes, I really should have an hour, um, so uh, you can meet me in the back afterwards because I want to be courteous to the next speaker. But I don't know how to express the uh, importance of what I'm going to share with you about heavy metal detoxification. We here are really here because of the work of many wonderful physicians, standard allopathic, you know, medical school trained physicians. About 80 years ago, uh, they learned that uh, heavy metals were bioaccumulating in their patient mass. And with that, uh, they started to really look at how heavy metals are damaging uh, the uh, intravascular lining, the endothelial lining. Look at if we don't have a circulation, if we don't have a capillary to get to your brain cell, if we don't have a capillary that gets to your skin cells, and you know your cartilage and your tendons, these uh, areas are avascular, so that there are no blood vessels in the tip of my nose or in my ear cartilage. It depends solely on the capillary diffusion of the overlaying uh, skin. Now, how are you going to help have healthy lubricated joints if you don't have excellent capillary overlay in the tissues intimately associated? So. Next to every cell in your body has to be a capillary that delivers nutrition, repair, information molecules, all the wonderful things you want to give to your patients, all the innovations that are taking place. If you don't have a capillary to get it there, your item is uh, not effective. Now, that is why, in my experience, when I improve capillary and general vascular flow dynamics, everything I do is better for my patient. Their thinking is better, their vision is better, their memory is better, their joints are better, their energy, their sleep is better. Therefore, let's start. I'm going to give you my old military training. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about it, and then I'm going to summarize it at the end. So. In the slides that I have, you're going to see me present the problem. Then you're going to see me talk about the uh, exposure rate that we're getting, where all these metals are coming from. And I'm going to pick six examples, but there's many, many heavy metals out there. Then you're going to see my research. That's what I want to spend time on. The research we did on the animal studies, on the absorption, on the technique of using this in a suppository format to detox the cell, to improve. Uh, the patients uh, and, and the uh, animal outcome. And then my, I'll wrap up saying uh, uh, what the findings showed. So we'll begin. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, every time an airplane flies over us, we're right next to the airport, they're emitting heavy metals in the exhaust. I was a uh, flight surgeon in the military, one of the first female flight surgeons. And I had to track heavy metal accumulation in my flight crew. Uh, I did antioxidant studies on my pilots. We are salt and peppering 5,000 airplane flights every day over the United States. Why? Because I know on 911 we had to down about 5,000 airplane flights. And those uh, airplanes, uh, 5,000 of them, with their tens of thousands of gallons of, of JP4 jet fuel, all use heavy metals in them to enhance the combustion of the fuel for the flight, because you don't want to backfire like the old Model T Fords. You don't want to backfire when you're in the air. <laughs> so uh, these, uh, 
the, and my cell phone. My cell phone is full of cadmium. I like technology. I like to fly. I have a very important meeting tomorrow. I got to fly back early in the morning. I want a plane and I want JP4 jet fuel and I want heavy metals in it to enhance the oxidative burst of combustion. So it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But the beauty is God has given us a wonderful thing that's been out there 80 years to help detox us from these heavy metal accumulations. Think of it this way. Pretend in this room we were getting puffs of ground glass in the air conditioning and that all over the United States the food was getting ground up glass powder on top of the feeding grounds where the cows chew up the grass, if there are any places <laughs> left where a cow can be allowed to eat some grass. And this ground glass is just brought into you. Do we have a detox pathway that chews up glass? It's dead. It's inert. It's inorganic. Heavy metals are dead. They're not carbon-based molecules. They're dead heavy metal toxins. We don't inherently have any good detox pathway to remove these heavy metal toxins. How does an enzyme chew up a piece of metal? Is, it, is there a pathway for that? No. So what happens? You bioaccumulate it. So it's everywhere, and we have to start talking about this. Toxins uh, are being linked with our biggest killers. Heart disease, no surprise, because as these ground glass type heavy metals just scratch the inner lining of your endothelium of your capillaries to your brain, to your beautiful skin, to every uh, link, neurochemical link in your body, to the delicate uh, contractile uh, myocardium fashioned after some uh, neurologic type tissue at the nodes in your heart. When you bioaccumulate these metals, it can mess up the circuitry of your body. Cancer is now the number one cause of death for diseases in our children. We should be upset about this and screening where these heavy metals are coming from. They're invading our bodies. They're causing devastating disease. They're linked with our two biggest killers. I'll show you that. They're harming us. 